captivated the entire uh, basketball audience because everyone was interested in the magic man versus the bird man. But you know, the, when people say, well, that's the most watched college game in the history of basketball, I say, yeah, because everyone wanted to see me coach. <laughs> <laughs> Judd Heathcote, always good for a good laugh. A former legend at Michigan State University, of course, the head coach of that great Magic Johnson team back in 1979. Had a chance to sit down with the former head coach this week at his home here in Spokane. He talked about the state of affairs in college basketball today, and also we got his opinion about this Zag team. Well, it's been my life. Now I've been retired 20 years, and so, you know, I'm looking back all the time, but I watch the games, and that keeps me looking forward. Tom has kept me involved with the Michigan State uh, program all these years, and Mark has uh, kept me involved with the Gonzaga program, and so uh, I've enjoyed being a part, small part, of both programs. I think there's so many young players now that are physically ready to play. And in the old days when, when I coached, I think that uh, most of the time the freshmen, you know, learned the game. They played some of the sophomore and they started as juniors and seniors. You don't see that anymore. Great players are great earlier than they used to be. Well, I think there's still coaching involved. I, I just, but, you know, when a guy knows he's only going to be there a year, I think it affects maybe the uh, importance of the coaching in terms of how he accepts it. But I think the coaches are still working hard with each one of those players to make them better. People in Spokane really don't appreciate the job that Mark has done. He's done an impossible job and made it look easy. And of course, he's had some good players, but good players don't make a good team. What he's done is kind of uh, melded some pretty good players with some great players, and they've done an outstanding job of recruiting. Uh, I, I think that Mark has to rate as one of the top five coaches in the country. Uh, here's a little Catholic school in a little town, and they have dominated the West Coast basketball. I get in arguments with some people and say, you don't know what you have here, and uh, you should appreciate the job that uh, that team has done. It's put Gonzaga on the map, and uh, not many schools or programs uh, could say that. The first years I watched, I said they can't be as good next year as they were this year. Each year, they got better. And I think that's a tribute to Mark and his coaching staff. Well, I think this year's team is an enigma because the strength is with the inside players. And I've always said you're as good as your guards. And I think that you know, the guards are going to get better, but uh, any time that you have a superstar, and that's what I call Wiltshire, you know, you're going to be in every game. And I think the, the, the challenge for this team is to get better at the guard position to enhance how good the inside players are. <laughs> 